what is going on ladies and gentlemen Jamal hunter x here bringing us an episode of ftb skies with that being said let's get into today's episode Alrighty, so I have a actual plan uh, to make sulfur in stupid amounts and I mean when I mean stupid amounts, I mean stupid amounts um, It's gonna involve a little bit of shenaniganery uh, Let me get some netherite though uh, Netherite So it's gonna involve more power Unfortunately, it's gonna involve a actually not probably not that much more power, but it's it's a part of the mechanism suite of things. Dear Lord, cover your ears. Uh, right. Did I not grab three stacks? I thought I grabbed three stacks of netherite. But that's fine. Nether I make me three more stacks, dude. The fact that I can just craft three stacks of netherite with ease. Like no problems at all. Is scary. It's a little scary, not gonna lie. But the plan is to use coal. That's right. Coal can be used um to uh what should i call it coal can be used to um make uh sulfur using a little bit of oxygen uh i also might in this episode we might just uh you know we might just take advantage of um the other setup and get everything set up for extra power because yeah we're getting pretty low on the powers and we're gonna need it we're gonna need power so we should probably start by making that first let me finish this and we'll be right back okay the amount of mental gymnastics I'm doing to get this to work is insanity okay so i wait no i want hydrogen to come out the top or the back yeah okay and then you're gonna come okay no you're not gonna connect let me break this and then configure this to be disabled. Like so. They're going to come around this way. So in fact, get rid of that. Okay, get rid of that. That's not what I want. I want, nope, that's pipe. That's energy pipe. Where are my gas pipes? You come this way. Around this duct. Yep, make sure that you're not connected. So hydrogen's gonna come out the back I don't know what uh, so you need water which is gonna come out the side the fluids input on the side let's do water first okay so water comes in first like so okay Water comes in. Oh god. Oh god, did I just mess up? That's oh, fine. So that's gonna be fine. 
gas will be input on the back, output the front. No, sorry, the top. Gas will be output the top into here. Right. Like so. And then this will output the back. I just did something. What I do? I just dis disconnected the whole system. This lag man is driving me crazy. The reason why I hit that stupid pipe. Okay. I wanted to hit it so it didn't. Why is it on wrench mode? Stop. I want it in pipe mode. So I can do this. That's fine. A drawer will go here. Output. Let's make sure it's auto output as well. Get a, a drawer. With a void upgrade because we don't need this. Okay. A drawer with a void upgrade. Or you guessed it. Yours truly. Substrate. And then. All we have to do is turn this on by turning on the other side. Uh, do you. Okay, no, you don't have your speed upgrades yet. Uh, so speed upgrades, energy upgrades. I'm hoping the hydrogen can keep up with this. Oh, you also need power. Don't forget that. Uh, that's also very important. Um, did I accidentally disable the power on this? No. So why you not? Getting power? I'm confused. Why you know connect? Okay. And then power. And then you should be good to go now. As soon as I turn this on. And you output back. Which means you're now getting more ethylene. Right? Which means you can technically, theoretically, handle two more gas burning generators i think i think that's how the math checks out maybe i actually don't know if the uh the math checks out this way but so you oh they don't stack right because this is mechanism i forget you Please. Okay, good. And then you on the back. Are going to be configured. To push. Uh, what's going on? Oh, did it rotate? There you go. And then that should be... Wait, where did all that... 
this go? Oh, right. Uh, don't do that. Hold on. Oh, don't do that either. Me. I just voided all that ethylene. Oh. Uh, push it back into it, the container. And then pull it out of this. Okay, hold on. I just, I, I only voided a little bit. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Get some basic pressure tubes. The reason why it was because, yeah, these, these buffer. Did I just make universal cables? Oops. I meant to make basic pressure tubes. Not basic uh, energy cubes or any energy pipes. Yeah, because these store like a stupid amount of power or a stupid amount of energy or gas. What should I call it? Ethylene. So yeah, we don't want that. Uh, output. Yeah, this should only store 12 buckets at a time. And hopefully that will be enough throughput for this. But I doubt it. I have my doubts. And then that will go onto the generators network. And this will also go on the generators network. And hopefully we're still not gaining. I mean, it doesn't look like it's going down either. So that's a good sign. It looks like it's staying pretty stable. And how are we doing over here? I can't tell. Okay, now we're going up. Now we're going up. So we're inputting. How much is this? This network's using about 45,000. And this network's using about 224,000. Yeesh. And it's about to be more too, right? Because we're about to make a ton of freaking dioxide here. So, or not dioxide, sorry. Uh, we're about to make a ton of uh, sulfur. Right, so if we want to make sulfur, the sulfur that we need, that is this guy here, we're going to want a pressurized reaction chamber. Ooh, do we want coal blocks? I think we want coal blocks, right? Because that will get us nine, but also like it uses nine times the like coal. Not that we're using coal for anything at this point in the game anyway. So I mean like, do we really care? I don't know if we really care that much about coal at this point in the game. I hear a chest. Don't you run away from me. Eat my fist, you freaking prank. Um, yeah, let's take all of our coal. Our 13th, we're gonna eventually run out of this too, but <laughs> eh, who cares? All in the name of production. The, the factory must continue. And then that's gonna require me to, uh, I, can't I can't grab one from there, weirdly enough. And then grab me a block of coal with some crafting upgrade. A crafting upgrade, maybe a stacker. Uh, maybe a stacker. I don't know. Grab me a stack of coal. Cause I am gonna need to filter the, the thing anyway. This is gonna go like immediately. By the way, like, <laughs> for real, 
It's gonna go gone. Just like literally gone. It's gonna be we're gonna have thirteen thousand one minute and we're gonna have you know none the next. So if I if I tell it, hey, if I take this out and I tell you, hey, if I tell you, hey, do this, uh, nope, all the way. I want you to put a stack of coal. Oh, can I not tell you to? I can't tell you to do that. That's kind of annoying. That's fine because we can put speed upgrades in there and I think it'll be fine. That should craft them mucho fast now. So. Uh, yep, that's gonna go here uh, with a filter. But also to be fair, we gotta we do gotta keep in mind as well that we are sifting like a sh ton of gravel at at, a, at at one given time. So like, are we realistically gonna run out of coal? Probably not. If I had to guess, if I had to guess. right uh on the back uh input no not the front uh the wait that way you're gonna need i think it's oxygen what is it it is going to be either cryofluid. Oh, wait a minute. Honey. Honey will do it. I think it's just like any liquid. Yeah, water will do. Uh, how the hell am I going to do this? Okay, well, first of all, uh, water is easy because that can get it in the front. And then not basic ultimate pressure tubes across the top of this. And that will give you your, your oxygen. Once we set that up to eject that. And then your power. Will come from. Dear God, where am I? Here. Is power going to be easy to route? It is. Okay, I wanted to make sure. Good, power is done. Now that's just going to... That's just going to bust through all of our coal. But, I mean, it's all in the name of getting waste. Right, nuclear waste. So I'm all for it, honestly. All for it. Uh, right, my copy paste gadget. Get this to fix up. So that should now be making a ton of sulfur. Oh, I didn't even see the hydrogen output. Um, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine because we can just chemical tank it up here and then jump access and you're not accepting because why uh, there you go why are you not ejecting Alright, there you go. Is that is that fully sped upgraded? I mean, to be fair, that's pretty fast. Oh god. Yeah, that's really fast. Okay. 
and now that's going to produce more dioxide for us which is then going to get all the way processed all the way down to here oh god that is so much to process but we 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 did it we got that now the big question is what size reactor do we go with uh do we go with a five by five at this point this doesn't really matter again because well i'm gonna be honest here the reactor isn't as um which i'm gonna call it you know what i mean uh we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do uh we need fuel assemblies and control rod assemblies so fuel assemblies and control assemblies All right, i tell you what let me craft these and we'll be right back Alrighty, guys so i think we're pretty much ready to go to build our first mechanism reactor here uh you may have noticed uh there's a chest right here that is because i started preparing things for the turbine that we're gonna need as well so yeah i want to go ahead and build three four five six seven eight nine we're gonna build a nice nine by nine here uh if i grab my infinity wand uh i don't think this is gonna be enough for a in uh a thing so we're, we're kind of just waiting for more reactor casings honestly at this point which is gonna take a minute because it's gonna make a bit of steel actually it's actually not gonna even take that long actually you can actually kind of see it's kind of like process it's, it's actually cutting through a lot of that very quickly actually which is not terrible at all you know sometimes you just gotta give it a little bit of love you know you know give it that little bit of tick acceleration you know what i mean oh god i'm hoping this is gonna be enough for this so two three one two three one two three this is actually the exact same size that i built in stone block three now unfortunately i didn't do the math for how much reactor glass i'm gonna need I haven't even thought about that. Oh God, I didn't even think about that until just now. Yikers. That's all right though. We will be able to get it. Okay. So most of this can be reactor glass actually. Funny enough. Uh, And then we're gonna probably want, okay. So we're gonna want fissile fuel production here because that's where it is. And then we're gonna want maybe water input on the top over here yeah okay and then we, we can go from there so the fission control assembly and th the best way to do this would be something like this that is not correct hunter Hunter doesn't know how to do his job. And then something like this. I don't think we're going to have enough assemblies to build this fully out. No, this is definitely not going to be enough. Uh, wand. Uh, is there no wand? Oops. That's okay. Uh, let's grab ourselves. Some more assemblies these are gonna be the fuel assemblies two stacks should be more than enough and then I guess reactor glass uh we don't have reactor glass taught oof okay so now that we're waiting for some glass to be made let's go ahead and finish the build here oh Hopefully this is going to be enough. I'm going to say yes. Also, I 
think this has to be enclosed. So the way that this works is something like this. And then once this is enclosed, once we do this, we should be able to put the glass in on top. So what we're going to do is our turbine is going to be here in the back which will be outputting steam and then we'll go ahead and this will be our waste product management and then our fissile fuel management will be here and then probably alongside here somewhere we can have water coming in oh but then we need yes because then this will be steam output waste output water input the cell fuel input right there and then that should be good to go for the most part uh reactor glass uh 256 is probably not going to be enough so give me another 256. It's really cheap to make this stuff, actually. It looks a little off and a little weird. Not gonna lie in JEI, but it is what it is, you know? Sometimes you just gotta go with the flow, you know? All right, now we can just do this. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, this actually might be plenty um maybe that's a maybe uh are you oh wow you're actually done okay that's your fissile fuel input and then i guess our last input is gonna be on this side wow two stack or four stacks was just enough uh and this yeah this is gonna be our steam output uh something has gone horribly wrong because it didn't form the multi-block oh <clears throat> it would help if you actually put the top on it <laughs> i was like uh that should have worked now uh it didn't <laughs> i'm a bit confused Unless if the top can't be reactor glass and the top has to be like the top has to be uh, casings, which I mean would make sense because I believe in extreme reactors, it's the same way. Like you can't have the top of extreme reactors be glass it has to be casings or whatever so i'm wondering if mechanisms the same way i haven't built this in like forever there it is okay so yeah the, the, the top has to be um stuff and we can burn if i understand this correctly we can burn 150 mil buckets a tick, which is a fair bit, a fair amount. Now I'm deciding if I want to run an ultimate pipe or use quantum and tango porters. Uh, right. And then our friend is going to be over here. We want to make sure, uh, let's get buckets of water uh how many buckets of water do i need because that's going to de determine how many sinks i'm going to make one two three five yep let me go get five buckets of water one two three four five we want five sinks that five sinks is going to be more than enough i think to support this uh reactor also don't forget that it will probably be um, recycled 
uh once we get the reactor up and running right we could always just do that right we can it's gonna recycle the uh water sorry my brain was not working there um mechanical pipes and configurator good and then let's also make sure that this is these are set to disabled between each other And then that way they're not trying to like fight for for throughput. Right. That way each one gets their own set. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that throughput of water. That's a lot of throughput. And I, I think I decided that I want to actually use the quantum entangle porter here. So the quantum entangle porter, the quantum entangle porter. Yes, that's a thing. Uh, yes. Okay. And that's totally doable. Let me fix this because it's being a nuisance and it's not like letting the thing pull it out and I don't know why but if I do that that and then on the down you should be able to pull with a wrench yes a laser wrench it's connected to this and then that should be everything that we need to do there and hopefully that will fix our problem all right let's get two entangle porters all right cool and that should hopefully i'm a little concerned that if hmm if it stops producing it might stop pushing okay wait are you is the insert of this no it's not it's totally not limited so i don't understand why it's oh is it Trying to go into a drawer somewhere. If I said this priority 10. Why wouldn't it pull the refined ingots out of here? Why are you being a nuisance? On the down. Insert on three. Default insert. Hmm. It really doesn't want to pull this refined ingot out. If I put a filter there, will it then pull it out? I don't know. Refined obsidian ingot even with the filter it's still not pulling it out of that chest can I link it to this maybe Okay, this is being a nuisance. I don't know what what's going on with that, but whatever. It's being a nuisance. Give me an import boss with a stack upgrade. 
I can't believe it. The what? The first time I've actually gotten mad at Laser IO for something. I'm probably doing something wrong. Let's be honest here. But I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But this should work. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. And then now I can make my entangle porters. And then we can do something like put this here. Make a new network called Fissile. Is it F? Hold on, is it F I I? Okay, yeah. F I S F I S S I L E. Fissile. And then come over here. Right, entangle reporters don't stack. I don't know why I thought they stacked. They really should, but I don't think. I, I hold on. I need to configure these. So output ways, output coolant, input only. I think it's input only, right? Output waste. Yeah, input only. Ah, uh, do I want? Hold on. Do I want? Ah, uh, I I don't really know if I want to. I mean, pump rate two mobile buckets. Except like, honestly, a basic pipe will do. I'm being completely honest here. 750 mobile buckets a tick is gonna be a lot more than what we're burning. I'm gonna be completely honest here. Uh, is this not a gas? It's not a fluid. I'll tell you that much. All right, and that's gonna fill up nice and quickly. Yeah, that's literally our entire tank of fissile fuel. It's just gone. I mean, it's there's 1.6 million in there still, but yeah. And that's gonna run as soon as I hit activate. That's gonna run. So we sh we shouldn't do that quite yet. We're not ready for that, but if we do this output waste, um, we're burning 150 mil buckets of tick. Um, I'm just going to get like a stack. Actually, do I really want a stack of waste barrels? Probably not. Maybe like eight or nine waste barrels would be sufficient. I just realized that it's gonna it's gonna take so much to make antimatter like literally I'm not even kidding like antimatter is no joke and I wish they gave you more tools to your advantage to make it honestly um because this, uh, it is a bit challenging to make it and I don't think we're gonna get anything that might help us oh we're gonna need to get into um, this mod here hostile, hostile mob neural networks for sure like a creative jetpack isn't gonna really help us in any way form uh, creative chance pendant isn't gonna really help us and wait a minute what is the super world shape what does this do the super world shifter I wonder what this does Handy tool for creating landscapes and terrain features. Interesting. But yet. Yeah, we need five antimatter, which means we need 5,000 millibuckets of antimatter. Which is. God. 
It's a thousand to one, by the way. It's a thousand polonium to one. So what is that? What is that math? One. So if we do the math, if I do the math real quick, God, that's like, is that 5 million? Yeah, we need 5 million polonium. And it's 10, 10 to 1. So that means we would need. Oh, God. 500,000 polonium. Uh, sorry, 500,000 nuclear waste. Which is. 500,000 pissile fuel. So technically. Technically, we have enough fissile fuel here to get everything that we need. Technically. Technically. And then we'll have some extra. But yeah, that's unfortunate. But unfortunately, it is time to wrap up today's episode. So with that being said, if you guys did enjoy today's episode, please do me a huge favor. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, ding that notification bell. Become part of the Hunter Strive Public Future Goal of 1,000 subscribers. As always, guys, I love you. I'm going to leave you. Till next time. Bye-bye.